On behalf of the Ohio State University Office of Marketing and Communications, I would like to welcome all of you Buckeye fans tuning in on the live stream near and far. So if you're watching the live stream at a house, at a tailgate, or at another location, we would like to know where you are from. Tweet a photo uh, to at to Biddle, and be sure to use hashtag skull session. That applies for all of you in the audience as well. And who knows, you might just see yourself on next week's live stream. So once again, tweet a photo to at to Biddle, and use hashtag skull session. A couple of messages before the band arrives. Celebrate Script Ohio with your Script Ohio license plate. So when you renew your plates, visit oplates.com, search specialty plates, and look up OSU Marching Band. Approximately $25 from each license plate will go into the scholarship fund for these fine folks. Next weekend, we will celebrate the 110th homecoming here at Ohio State on Friday, September 30th at 5 p.m. in the Northwest Stadium lot. Uh, I'm told the pre-parade festivities will include free food, inflatables, and carnival activities. Now, that is according to the Alumni Association website. That is not according to Wesley Clark. So when you get there and they have no food, do not blame me. Uh, the band will perform uh, as well. They, there's a parade that starts at 6 p.m. right out here uh, on Woody Hayes. They'll travel east to College Road, go south of College Road, and the parade will end there at uh, the Ohio Union. Always a great time, so if you're in town, uh, the band will love to hear you cheer them along as they uh, parade in homecoming. On October 15th, across the street in Ohio Stadium, where I'm sure many of you are going here shortly, uh, the Buckeye Invitational High School Marching Band Competition, sponsored by the Ohio Music Educators Association, uh, will take place. The day begins around 10 a.m. with high school bands performing up until about 9, and ends with a full pregame and halftime performance by Tabill. Uh, tickets are available at tabiddle.osu.edu. On October 28th, as you've heard the previous three weeks, we will travel to Penn State uh, to cheer on the Buckeyes as they take on the Nittany Lions. So uh, if you happen to be from the area or, or live on the border and you want to come and see the band, be sure to follow our website uh, for all the details related to that trip. On November 20th at 3 p.m. inside for Sean Auditorium, we will have our annual hometown concert, and so when tickets do go on sale for that, uh, they will be $18 for adults, $15 for children, seniors, OSU faculty, staff, and registered alumni, uh, and they can be purchased online, in person, or at the Wexner Center. Uh, visit tabiddle.osu.edu for more information. Any Tabiddle alumni in the audience today? Stand up, let me see you. The hip is looking good from last week, Mr. Smith. I a little slow to get out of the seat, but you're doing well. Good to see you. Thank you all for, for partaking in last week's events. You're looking much more hydrated than you were last Saturday, but uh, it's good to see you all. We appreciate your contributions uh, to the Varsity Band. Next week's uh, Skull Session will commence at approximately 1.10, and we are hosting the South Central High School Marching Band from Huron County. And speaking of high school bands, how about we welcome the Reynoldsburg High School Band, who's sitting in the audience today. Good to see you all. Thank you for making the short trip over, and we will hear from you in a bit. OH! 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 On your feet, Buckeye Nation. The pride of the Buckeyes. Have a rock.
and gentlemen, on behalf of the Department of Athletics, the College of the Arts and Sciences, and the School of Music, welcome to St. John Arena and the Saturday Skull Session with the best damn band in the land. We are joined by the Ritters Riddlesburg High School and marching band, so you'll hear from them in just a little bit. You can applaud for them. Yes, that's all. Right. That's for sure. Well, I'm Wesley Clark, a native of the thriving metropolis of Urbana, Ohio, a former member of the band at Atro, and I have the pleasure of serving the band, thank you, uh, as their announcer. You know, our leadership team is what makes Skull Session one of the greatest game day traditions here at Ohio State. So, allow me to introduce them to you. From the College of the Arts and Sciences Administration, Dr. David Horn, Executive Dean. Dr. Dana Renga, Dean of Arts and Humanities. From the School of Music, Dr. Michael Ibrahim, Director of the School of Music. Dr. Russell Mickelson, Director of Bands. Dr. Scott Jones, Associate Director of Bands. Our music arrangers, John Brennan, Dr. Ishma Cox, Lisa Gamelman, Michael Klesch, Andrew Markworth, Dr. Ted McDaniel, Mark Reynolds on percussion, Jim Swearingen, and Michael Martin, who arranged today's halftime show. Our volunteer staff, Karen and Ed Crockett are our photographers, Tim Crockett and Kayla Everett serve as visiting band liaisons, and Ed Thompson is our recording engineer. Our drum majors, Mr. Austin Bowman from Hebron, Ohio, serves as our head drum major. And Mr. Dalton Ferrero from Gahanna is our assistant drum major. Our administrative staff, Mary Machuga from Columbus, is our business operations manager. Caitlin Jansersize Price from Hilliard is our administrative coordinator. Mr. Evan Drexler from Miami, Florida is our communications manager. LaShonda Coleman from Canton, Ohio is our compliance and life skills coordinator. And Dr. Matt Rockley from New Baltimore, Michigan is our medical coordinator. Now, our directive staff. In his final year from Broomfield, Colorado, Alex Mondragon. In his final year with us from Utica, Ohio, Josh Reynolds. In his second year with us from Leesburg, Florida, he's not with us today, Dustin Ferguson. And in her first year with us from Ames, Iowa, Sarah Baker. Our full-time directors, Mr. Mark Reynolds from Pro City is our percussion instructor. Mr. Michael Smith from Chicago is our assistant director of marching and athletic bands. Phil Day, who's outside waiting for the team from Milford, Ohio, is our associate director of marching and athletic bands. And the native of Westerville, Ohio, who previously served as the director of bands at Rucker B. Hayes High School in Delaware, Dr. Christopher D. Hope, Director of Marching and Athletic Bands at the Ohio State University. How about another round of applause for these fine folks? Well, anyone here representing the Badgers today? I see you up there. Well, hey, we appreciate you coming to Skull Session, supporting the best damn band in the land, and the Reynoldsburg High School Marching Band. Thank you all for coming. In fact, when you see Dr. Alexander Gonzalez up there in Madison, yes, he was a, he was a graduate assistant director here in our band from 2018 to 2020, so you tell him we said hello. Eternal fun, strong to save, are the opening words to a traditional musical prayer that draws strength, hope, and respect for our armed forces. It was first arranged for our band in 1997 by former graduate assistant director and retired sergeant major Ken McCoy. We encourage all veterans to stand and be honored as we play the Navy Hymn.
thank you for your service.
from Fairfax, Virginia. Screaming their name, they got a line across. The dude's right behind me. They're, they're gonna wish they never made the trip. Go Bucks!
that we close those gates, it's on. And the bug guys, we need each and every one of you loud and proud. Go Bucks!
On behalf of the Ohio State University Office of Marketing and Communications, thank you again. For those who tuned into the live stream, we look forward to you tuning again next week. Pre-game is at approximately 7.10. OH!